Okay, today I'm going to talk about the remote key fob for the 2006 to 2009 second generation Toyota Prius. And here I have a 2007 Toyota Prius, and this is a actually aftermarket uh, remote case which I bought to replace the other remote which had these buttons basically ruined. And um, I'm gonna show you the different components in this and what you need to replace when something needs to be replaced. So one of the features of this type of a smart remote key entry is that uh, you can actually have the key not inserted and still be able to turn on the car by pressing the power button and you can see the car just turned on. All right, and the reason is because we have this here on the bottom part under the uh, steering wheel. This key button is um, not pressed down. If you if this is pressed down, then you will require the key to be actually inserted into the slot for it to function. I'll just take a look. So now, if I press down this key button, then I have to insert the remote into the key slot here so we have if I just try to press the button nothing happens and it requires me to insert this into the key slot and now if I press the button you can see it turns on so physical key is required so let's find out what parts are inside this remote that allows us to turn on the power remotely when a smart entry feature is enabled in this car. Let's take a look. So because this is an uh, aftermarket remote case that I ordered, I actually had to break the previous remote case. So to open it, you have to slide this um, thing here and pull out the key. And with the aftermarket case is actually really easy to open up compared to the original one the original one actually had to cut it open and so here I actually removed the um, circuit inside the remote here and I only left this which is kind of like the shell and let's see if it works so with the proximity it doesn't work so if I just keep this close uh, inside the car it doesn't work however let's try if I insert this into the key slot if it will turn on the car and here it is and remember this doesn't have the actual uh, remote circuitry inside and you can see the car starts so it's not able to detect it without con actual physical contact but it's able to start the car once I insert the um, empty remote. And why is that? Let's find out. And the secret lies in this chip here that I took from the original remote control. In fact, when I first moved the circuitry into this new shell, I forgot to bring this chip, this irregular shaped chip. And for whatever reason, I could not turn on the car and then I realized that this chip was missing so once I brought this over into the shell the car was able to turn on so this is crucial chip to turn on your car and without the actual circuitry here without actual circuitry here that I removed I cannot turn it on without physically inserting the key into the slot but even if I don't have the circuitry just by having this chip itself, it acts as the electronic key and it's recognized by the um, chip reader inside the car. So this one, it doesn't have power by itself. As you can see, the battery is not connected in any way whatsoever. So the remote circuitry here, actually, it just controls the car uh, as a remote, normal remote to open the door, close the door, you know, and it provides some kind of power for this chip to be sensed by the car for contactless entry. And so there is a deconstruction and sometimes people might need to replace just the remote part 
off the uh, remote control and not actually the uh, key chip here and if you need to remove your existing circuit from the old remote into a new new remote housing make sure you also move this key this is very important for you to continue the work so there that's the um, basic construction of the Toyota Prius second generation remote control